Um, she was very much influenced by another anarchist philosopher by the name of Mikhail Bakunin. Um, and especially his book, God and the State, which is, I think, another sort of classic, essential reading of anarchism. Yeah. Because he lays out very clearly the, the, the correlation between organized religion as a centralized oppressive force and the state as a centralizing oppressive, centralized oppressive force against yeah. people. Um, because a atheism is the anarchism of religion. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, it very much is, right? Like, it is, like, and it makes, it's, and it's very logical, right? Like, when we say no gods or kings, we mean it. That's right. Like, it's, it's, you know, like, it's, it's not, so that was, you know, that was always the thing that always appealed to me with, with Emma Goldman was that, you know, her, her anarchism was one that I could really identify with because of her explicit atheism and her humanism. Sure. That, like she, she did, she advocated for what she advocated for precisely because she deeply believed in, you know, the, the sort of moral worth and agency of human beings yeah, that's and, right. and, and our, our, and our ability to do things better. So it's like, so she writes like, in proportion as man learns to realize himself and mold his own destiny, theism becomes superfluous. How far man will be able to find his relation to his fellows will depend entirely upon how much he can outgrow his, his dependence upon God.